Hello, my name is Lena, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to April TBR. In April, I'm doing two readathons, and I have combined prompts, like feed the books for both as much as I can. One requires seven books. It's because I chose that, and the other one five. So the two readathons. All the information about them will be linked in the description box. You can check out the announcement videos and things like that. So just go in the description box to find out more about them. But I'm doing All the Worlds page and one of the co-hosts is Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. And I just like supporting my friends. So I'm doing this readathon. I think I have done this for how many years this is like the third i feel like it's the third but don't count on me but i think that's it, that and the other readathon is magical readathon aurelium and it is spring equinox time this one is hosted by g from book roast and this is another readathon i've been doing for quite some time that's that with the readathons now the tbrs first i'm going to share the books i have for all the worlds a page and what prompts I have chosen, and then the magical readathon. First readathon, all the world's a page. This year, you can build your own play. It is Shakespeare inspired readathon, and you have to choose from the sets of prompts to build your own play. Like you choose a protagonist, antagonist, lovers, setting, genre, plot, things like that. You can choose however many prompts you want. I chose seven, so I'm going to share them now. First, I have protagonist, and I chose Helena. And the prompt for that one is a book friend loves. And what is the best thing to do than support a friend that's co-hosting the readathon? And I have chosen The Raven Boys by Maggie Stewater. This is a gift from Olivia and... It's one of her favorite books, favorite series, so it's time. I've been wanting to read this book for quite some time, but finally I have the first one. I had the second one before this one, so couldn't start the series, but now I don't have any excuses. I hope I'm gonna love it. This book is about a girl who, if she kisses her true love, he will die. So she doesn't want anything to do with boys, but of course... She gets involved with a group of boys that are called Raven Boys. And if I'm not mistaken, and remember correctly, there was something with a lost Welsh king. So yeah, I don't know that much about this book, but I've heard a lot of things about it. It is Lovers, and I chose Lady Macbeth, and that is book for a goal, project, etc. And I've chosen... An ebook, and it is The Fear Hunter by Ellie Sachs. And I actually don't know anything about this book. I think it's kind of murder mystery kind of thing, but I'm not sure about it at all. But it is for buzzword reading challenge that I'm doing this year. And the buzzword is emotions. I think it was emotions for April. And I don't have a lot of books that fit that thing. So this one it is just based on the word fear in the title so i know nothing more about it unfortunately or maybe it's a good thing then antagonist i chose angelo and that is a contemporary so i've chosen punk 57 by penelope douglas this is a romance book i think it was about a boy and a girl who were pen pals a while ago and then one of them stopped writing and it turns out that they now live in the same town, go to same school and one of them knows that the other one is the PayPal, pen pal, I think. And there's a romance. Hopefully it's good, but we'll see when I read it. Then supporting character. I chose Paulina and it is book with a happy ending. And I hope this book has a happy ending because I don't know. It is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmas. I think this is a romantic kind of book and kind of a bit historical because it is about women in chemistry. I've heard good things about it, but 
that doesn't mean I know anything about them. Next is setting and I chose forest and that means nature plants on the cover. I have this one with flowers on the cover. I love this cover. It's so pretty. The colors are amazing. And this is The Last Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This is kind of historical, but there are two timelines. One is historical from 18th century and the other one is nowadays. And there is some kind of a mystery and i think in the past timeline it is like about men being poisoned by their wives or something like that and like in nowadays someone is trying to figure out like comes across something and tries to figure out things that happened in the past i really enjoy these double timeline things because usually the both timelines are some way connected with the characters, like are they related or in some way they are connected. And I really like figuring out how. So I heard good things about this one. I hope I will love it. But as for all of these, we'll see. Next is genre slash plot. And I chose comedy. And for that, you need to read a book that will make you happy. And I have... The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. Why it will make me happy? Because it is a library book and I have to return it. <laughs> and I will be happy that I have finished the book before I return it. And also it is Kate Morton. I have enjoyed, really enjoyed the previous books I have read by this author. And I really hope I will like this one too. I don't really know what this book is about, but I think it is multiple timeline kind of thing when there is some past mystery some kind of a thing that has happened and people nowadays coming across it and trying to figure it out i think because her previous books are like that i think this one is the same and based on the title i guess it involves some kind of a garden but that's all i know and i really 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 hope that i will love it and the last one is stage directions i have a side and that means a quick read and i have this short little thing called 1904 melancholy walls by inga Jold. i think it is a short story about a composer who wrote a classical piece latvian composer emil Darzinch, and he wrote melancholy walls that is my favorite latvian classical piece of music i love it oh, it has a special place in my heart but yeah this will definitely be a quick read because it is a really short book so these are the seven books i have for all the world's a page and hopefully you will like them all but we'll see we'll see now let's move on to magical readathon for magical readathon you have to choose your calling kind of a profession in the magical world and you are studying for that profession and i have chosen a moon warden this will be my second year studying it and i have five subjects to pass i'm gonna quickly share what i have for my calling but i don't have books for all the prompts because i just don't know i haven't chosen yet and i will leave them like open so I have, I don't know, some chance for mood reading, even though I'm not a mood reader. But we'll see how that goes. The five subjects I need to pass are elemental studies. And for that, I have to read a book with flowers on the cover. I have The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. As I already said and showed, there are flowers on the cover. It is a beautiful edition. I love it. And I have astronomy, and for that you have to read a book with two E's, letter E in the title. And I have The Fear Hunter by Elise Sachs, that is an e-book I have, so there are definitely two E's in the title for this one, actually three. So, yeah, that's that. The third one is Spells and Incantations, and you have to have a book between... 389 and 415 pages and I have Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus and this one is 390. So it is right at the beginning of that target length but this definitely fits it. Next is Art of Illusion and you have to match your clothes to the book cover and I chose Svina Garsha by Maris Berzinch because it is grey. It is easy to dress grey 
and there is some like purple the title is in purple so a purple accent or something is a historical fiction set around the second world war i think i feel like it's not gonna be an easy read but i've been wanting to read this one for a while so i'm putting it on the tbr i might change it for something and the last one for my calling is restoration and for this one you have to close your eyes shuffle and point so you have to choose a kind of a random book i will leave this one for the days of the readathon so i don't have a book to show you for this one so these were the five for my calling these are the four books i currently have and one additional that i don't know yet but there are more subjects for magical readathon and i'm gonna show the rest of the books that i have for some of the classes i don't have a book for all i have two that i don't have that i might choose something for during the month i might skip them at all but i'm just gonna go through and quickly show what are the rest books i have chosen i'm not gonna talk anything about them though just the title and the author name alchemy metal in the name i have iron widow by siren j zao conjuration recommended by a friend and i have the raven boys by maggie stewater demonology book compared to your favorite and i have the old man's war by john scalzi this was compared to children of time by adrian tchaikovsky inscription book from your top slash highest shelf and you can see that this was on the top and it is girl serpent thorn by melissa Bashardust. It's lore book with a map and i have the same book that i had last year for this prompt with the same title lore and it has a map here it is it is a map and this one is by alexandra bracken psionics and divination clouds on the cover or in the title and i have matinya or daughter by tamara horiha zernia shape-shifting wolf and the title on the cover or in author's name and i have the wolf and the woodsman by avarine so this is it. These were the rest of the books that I can choose from for Magical Readathon. And that's gonna be it for this TBR video. I have a lot of books. I have shown too many books, but I have seven plus two I didn't show. So I have about nine books to read. Oh, that's not possible, but <laughs> we'll see what I figure out during the months to finish the books I need for both of the readathons, but that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I see you in the next one. Bye!